So capture back is a tool again mentioned you want to will uh, save all the files that is deleted by the malware, right? So from here, let's start a victim VM from the clean snapshot. And let's go to the uh, malware class. All right, everyone on the same page, right? Tool. And do you see the capture back setup? And say yes. There you go. Great. Somebody will get started. So you will require to reboot. So it's a pretty just reboot. Ready reboot. Actually, we are here that made the uh, slide. So we just uh, started this setup uh, this Kiro file. So we are installing the capture back. And let's log in. Hope so everyone rebooted the uh, VM, uh, victim VM. All right. Let's uh, then open a command line dot prompt and let's uh, start the uh, capture back. But you uh, please make sure you use the uh, tag completion. So it's uh, in the program file and, and make sure you have a quotation because of the, there is a space here. And if you uh, Press tab, then you want to go. Uh, you will add this uh, quote double quotation uh, uh, automatically. So that, and that's it. All right, do you have that now? Right. Once you uh, have capture back running, then let's go to the malware class sample. Let's uh, run Hydrac and uh, launch the Hydrac sample. Now we see it's getting deleted. I think there was uh, enough time. So, where the hydrant uh, stored this deleted file is, please change the uh, directory using the explorer. So go to the program file. Yeah, but let's close it. I will just start from here. Using the explorer, please go to C. There's a program file. And there should be a capture band here, capture. And do you see the uh, logs? Now do you see the deleted files? Deleted file, then it's return from the C. Okay, there is a deleted file. In the, in the document setting, hidden desktop, policy, sample, hydrate. All right, please do not click it here. Just, it is in the same, you know, the file deleted. We know that the malware sample has been deleted. So let's move on to the deleted file directory again. Okay, here, I just uh, delete from the C here. So I am at the program file, capture, logs, deleted file. I'm in here. How about um, we can move from here? C, program file, 
capture and log and delete file over here okay and go to C windows there we go you see the DFS uh, a batch file let's open this one with how you open it notepad I'll put it as a start run notepad okay I, will, I just opened the notepad and I will open DFS this batch file using the notepad now do you see it, it has uh, just uh, those uh, commands here right delete this DFE file and delete this uh, batch file right you see that right so that's how uh, I do itself and so it's just delete itself and I think other files are just more uh, temporary files so I'll just ignore it for now here okay who got the uh, dispatch file open all right what did you do to open it I'm sorry uh, that's fine so from here start run right. and I just opened the notepad mm -hmm. and then from here I just from here I drop and drag onto the notepad then it just open right thanks no problem so capture bags is good but i think it's not uh, only the problem is it's not actively updated so it won't work on windows 7 however the uh lot of malware messages still just use xp because uh, and it's still okay, so you can use this tool. Do you know of anything that can do what CaptureBat does that does work on Windows 7? Uh, beside the uh, CaptureBat? Yeah. Okay. I'm not aware of, however, normal sandbox, they do, uh, if it's a good one, especially the commercial one, they should uh, capture those and delete the file and you know, so they drag it out of the uh, VM. That's why, in other words, you get what you pay for. Capture base is free. And all the tools that we are using uh, during this class is all uh, free. And uh, keep in mind that you know, we are actually using tools, kind of very you know, primitive tools, because the goal of this you know, class is learning you know, how the malware you know, behaves, how it's running, and what kind of, you know, Kind of way we can get the old artifacts, not just you know learning how can we use this extensive tool which is doing everything automatically for you. Basically, right? So, right, let's close it.